Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Absolutely a gorgeous forecast for the next couple of hours. Still collecting tons of coats. You can see this is a pile almost as tall as me. Minneapolis and Pittsburgh, the two coldest cities on our map, are hosting today's divisional playoff games. Thankfully, my Saints will be playing inside. Arriving to town near Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. The southwesterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, are a sure sign that we are at ahead of the cold front. Then on Sunday, look at that, nearly 10 degrees cooler inland and everything becomes a little bit more linear around the eight o'clock time frame. We have team coverage this morning of this winter storm officially issued a countywide burn ban as a result of low relative humidity. I had to go ahead and throw in our forecast for New Orleans today because of course the Panthers take on the Saints this afternoon. The total solar eclipse can be dangerous if your eyes are exposed to too much brightness. Now the Big Easy is celebrating even with some rain trying to dampen the mood. There's no raining on a New Orleans parade, and a lot of the rain they saw yesterday is coming to town right now. I'll track it next. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you've made the most of our gorgeous forecast for the beaches. Not a cloud in the sky behind me on our Dunes Realty Garden City ocean camera and I wish that I were out there right now. Temperatures extremely tough to beat across the Carolinas, not only North Carolina but South Carolina as well. Seeing temperatures nearing that mid 70 mark inland and a bit cooler nearing that mid 60 mark along the beaches. This is a pretty consistent forecast for the majority of the southeast. Finally warming up and feeling more spring like. Of course over the weekend on Saturday morning, most of us woke up to tons of cold temperatures nearing that freezing mark. So this is a much welcome change. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures on the rise as well, nearing that low 80 degree mark inland and mid 70 degree mark along the beaches. So about a 10 degree increase in temperature. We have that southerly flow as a result of high pressure sitting off of the coast. And as you can see, we're monitoring low pressure to the west coast. This is what will be beginning to make its way toward our viewing area over the next couple of days. A low pressure system associated with this next cold front that comes to town brings significant amount of rainfall. That will all move off of the coast by Monday and then we see a big increase in sunshine for the next couple of days thereafter as well. So this is certainly good news. But monitoring that low pressure system, there is a significant amount of severe storm potential over the next 48 hours or so in portions of Louisiana as well as Arkansas. This is something we'll monitor not only then but also Saturday in Mississippi as well as Alabama and that system will be beginning to make its way here on Sunday reaching the Carolinas of course. Putting that rain into motion for you starting off tomorrow night we're not seeing it quite yet. Similar story on Saturday just an increase in clouds but Sunday night everything comes to town and then again moves off of the coast by Monday. So in terms of confidence, we know that our area will certainly see rain. We just don't know quite how extreme that'll be just yet. The next seven days are finally improving as far as temperature is concerned with everything staying in the mid 70s until Sunday. Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Absolutely a gorgeous forecast for tomorrow, but right now it's very cold out there, especially as a result of that wind feeling even chillier than it actually is with temperatures dropping into the low 60s. It feels like 60 right now, but it'll be beginning to feel much colder as a result of those 10 to 15 mile per hour easterly wind gusts across the country. More seasonal than we've been over the last couple of evenings. Temperatures nearing that 60 degree mark across the southeast as a whole, just a little bit warmer in Florida. But here in the Carolinas, we're nearing the mid 50s inland and still sitting at 60 on the coast as a result of that ocean influence. Dew points have been on the rise, so this is good as a result of more moisture content in the atmosphere, but we're still very dry as a result of minimal rainfall and that coupled with gusty winds can certainly cause for fire weather danger. So we'll be beginning to see an increase in water as well as a decrease in winds these next couple of days, which is certainly good news for widespread fires around town. This afternoon temperatures were nearing the 
70 degree mark inland and the mid 60 degree mark along the coast. Almost a copy and face forecast for tomorrow afternoon with temperatures nearing very similar degrees. We do still have that easterly wind from 10 to 15 miles per hour sticking around, but notice the difference in cloud cover. We'll see a big increase as a result of that high pressure moving off of the coast and the low pressure making its way here. Futurecast right now showing that high pressure sitting over Tennessee as well as portions of Georgia and South Carolina, but it'll be beginning to progress northward. That's when instead we have a big increase in not only clouds, but also the potential for showers. Monday morning about 10 a.m., most of the area will certainly be wet, and this is right about the time you're interested in starting off the week going to work. This is all associated with a low pressure system that is also going to be beside a cold front like it has been for the last couple of weeks. We've certainly seen this before, so make sure that you prepare accordingly. That rain could stick with us all the way through Tuesday into Wednesday. We, however, are expecting the bulk of it on Monday as well as Tuesday. Temperatures won't drop a ton as a result of this, just looking like the upper 60s and then the low 70s. Overnight, we're not drastically dropping either. Nowhere near the freezing mark, really not even nearing the low 50s. So this is certainly a sure sign of spring along the coast. Inland, we're usually a little bit warmer just based off of that ocean influence. We're seeing the 70s stick with us tomorrow, but then the upper 60s. And again, overnight, not too bad. So we're a little bit below average during the daytime, but we're right about average overnight.